Welcome to Hearts and Tears TV. Now, before we proceed with the business of the day, I would like you all to please smash on the subscribe button and hit the bell button as well. Now, on today's content, we will be looking at Metatron, an angelic figure in Jewish tradition. Depending on the angelology, he is considered as part of the seraphim. Those are figures that are at the top of the celestial hierarchy and therefore closer to God. There is no consensus regarding the meaning of his name. The absence of the suffix L is something very, very much unique about him. Metatron is often represented with three pairs of wings. He is the prince of the seraphim and therefore the rest respect his authority. He is also sometimes considered the most powerful of all archangels. Metatron is the only heavenly figure with access to stand by the creator and is considered the spokesman for God. Damn, I mean, how really cool is that? It is said that he is even more powerful than the archangel Michael. Yes, Michael, the famous number one warrior angel who defeated Lucifer and his gang when they tried to revolt against the creator. One of Metatron's mission is to be the intermediary between God and men. He also commands all other heavenly beings. Metatron is the coordinator and supervisor of activities among the remaining angels and archangels. Although he is the only one with unrestricted access to the Creator's throne, he does not take the supplications and requests of the faithful to God. The most famous reference to Metatron is in the Talmud, a set of texts in sacred books and rabbinic Judaism. When Elisha ben Abuya got permission to enter heaven and found the Metatron's glow, he actually thought there were two authorities in heaven, being God and Metatron. Metatron was then struck 60 times by a flaming baton to show that despite his noble position, he was below the creator. The heavenly figure is also referred to in the book of Enoch. Metatron is sometimes known as the angel of life and death for his great influence on the tree of life of the Jewish cabal. The name Metatron is not expressly written in the Bible, but according to some traditions, Metatron is the angel who fights with Jacob, wanting to be blessed before his reunion with his brother Esau. Fans of Hebrew mysticism use the Metatron cube, which is a sacred geometric structure composed of 13 circles as a tool of protection and also to understand reality. Although he is not an angelic figure as acknowledged as the three great archangels, which are Michael, Gabriel and Raphael, Metatron plays an important role alongside the throne of the Lord as his divine scribe, recording all the deeds and sins of men. Being the most powerful heavenly figure below only God, of course, Metatron is one of the most respected angels by angelology fans.